Welcome back to Ag Life. My name is Camille Lambert and I am here with one of my favorite weeds today, our second weed lesson. This is common mullein and it is actually an invasive weed. You see it alongside ditches, um, not so much in fields too often, but it really can just grow anywhere. It has a very woolly leaf surface and like I said, it's invasive, so you really want to control this weed. It is a uh, perennial, so the first year it kind of looks like this, just real fuzzy and lays flat. The second year, something um, out of the center, a stem, will bolt up really tall. It can get about 10 feet tall. I mean, it can get huge. It has a yellow flower on the top. It's just a really thick stem with a yellow flower and it's just a very fuzzy plant. Um, it's one of my favorite ones because the nickname for it is Indian toilet paper, which is you know kind of funny if you're ever out and you need some toilet paper, this would be a really good option. So um, just another weed lesson today, a quick fact, um, is that it is from Africa. So it was brought over here a long time ago and now you see it growing alongside ditches. This is a weed that you can see in a tobacco field. You notice it kind of looks similar to tobacco, so this could be a problem weed that you really need to get controlled in your tobacco field. All right, I found another weed I just have to show you. Here is musk thistle. I'm not gonna touch it because it'll act, it's pretty sharp to, to the touch. As you can tell from seeing here, um, thistles are very aggressive weeds. They can grow anywhere. You see them driving up and down the parkway. You see them um, on the side of road. They can even grow in concrete crevices. They really need to be controlled because they are so aggressive and take over. They can also get to be really tall and um, they really hurt to touch. Now a good um, control for these weeds um, is something 2,4-D or dicamba. You can mix the two together. That can be something quick and hot and it's going to really burn these weeds down. It may take a couple of years to control them, but these are important ones that you do not want because they, they hurt. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Ag Life.